This screencast is a second screencast that uses this lens and mirror simulation or animation to take a look at mirrors and lenses. I've already used this animation in a previous lecture and a previous screencast to take a look at the image construction for both concave and convex mirrors. Now we'll use it to take a look at the images associated with converging and diverging lenses. Okay, let's go ahead and launch it like so. Okay, and now let's go ahead and keep this as a converging lens. It's a double convex lens. Let's go ahead and get rid of the light rays like so. Let's move the image over here, or the object, excuse me, over here. I'm also going to make it a little bit larger so we can easily see this. And now let's go ahead and construct the image. So the first light ray comes off the tip of the object. It's parallel to the optical axis. It then refracts out the focus like so out the other side. Okay, let me go ahead actually and use then the second light ray here. This is backwards of the first, so this passes through the focus on this side of the lens, and it therefore refracts out the other side parallel to the optical axis. And then right here is the real inverted image that is formed. The third light ray, and I draw this in lecture, this passes like so right through the center of the lens and refracts out the other side. What this animation is obviously not showing are the individual refractions that occur at each surface, that is, as we go from air to glass and then from glass to air. Instead, they directly use the shortcuts that I developed in lecture. Okay, let's go ahead and remove uh, the second light ray. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And now let's go ahead and take the object here and move it to the focus, like so. There we go. And then you can see that these refracted rays here and here are parallel to each other. So then, therefore, the image forms at infinity. There is no image. That's more or less about like so. Okay, and then let's go ahead and take the object and move it really close to the lens, like this. There we go. And then take a look at the refracted rays here and here. They're diverging from each other, so then therefore they look like they're coming from this side of the lens, and you end up with this upright virtual image that is magnified. As I mentioned in lecture, this is the ray diagram associated with a magnifying glass. Okay, let me go ahead and move the object back over to here, like so. Let's go ahead and get rid of all the light rays, like so. And now let's change this from a converging lens to a diverging lens, like so. So here's a double concave diverging lens. Let's now go ahead and construct the image. So with our first light ray, this is parallel to the axis. It then refracts out the other side of the lens as if it was coming from the focus here. Let's actually now go ahead and jump to the third light ray. Like so, this is the one that I draw in lecture. This goes from the tip of the object, passes then through the center of the lens like so, and it refracts out the other side. Take the two refractions here and here, extend them both back behind the lens, and you end up right here with the upright virtual image that is small. And then I can adjust what the magnification looks like and what the image distance looks like by moving the object like so to various distances from the lens. Sometimes there is a third light ray that is drawn. I typically don't draw this one in lecture, and that's this right here. This light ray goes from the tip of the object, and then you draw it as if it's going to pass through the focus over here out the other side of the lens. This then means that when it refracts through the lens, it refracts like so, parallel to the optical axis, extend this refracted ray back behind the lens, and once again, it looks like it comes from the image that is over here. Typically, however, I don't draw that light ray in lecture because it is, in fact, a little bit difficult to do, and it's also a little bit confusing. Okay, so I invite you to take a look at this animation as you watch today's lectures on lenses. You could play around with converging and diverging lenses. You could adjust the image and object distances and heights appropriately. You could even also, if you wish, change the focus of the lens like so by adjusting this slide here.